Howdy y'all, Beardy Carpenter here. In this video I'll be sharing with you how I come up with the numbers for the notch dimensions of each half dovetail notch uh, that is used in each separate rounds. They're not all the same, but each round has the same notch size. Now this is not my formula that I came up with. It was what was taught to me by my friends who are, are log builders and that I worked with. I hope you enjoy it. Since this is B-Wall, B-Wall and D-Wall logs actual total length will be 12 foot 4 with the 2 inch notch overhang. And so I came down from the actual cut end, cut at the other end, I came down 12 foot 4, and then I came back 8 inches and I made a mark which will be the inside shoulder. The seal logs were 16 4 total and the actual inside dimensions of the log building will be 11 foot uh, 15 foot taking out the 6 inch thickness of the logs. So I have a mark here established and I can cut this end off and have my exact length all ready to go. I'm sneaking up to that mark, make a mark, flip the square over and back to it get my inside shoulder line established now I can cut this line right here and I'll have my 12 foot 4 I had told you that I was going to come up with this number of four and a half for the upper portion of the notch and three and a half for the lower part of the notch. Working away from the center line, I wrote center line here. You can see the center line perhaps. I came down three and a half inches and up four and a half inches from the center line to get the upper portion of the notch. And I did the same thing on the outside from the center line on the lower part of the notch. Now I've showed you how from this point to the other part of the notch on the outside how to measure that and come back to the shoulder and get those two marks that's just parallel to the center line. I want to go through the equation that I use. There are four logs in this round and I measured the logs between the butts and the tips in the middle of the log. One of the logs was 14 and 3 quarters. There was one that was 15 and there was another one that was 15 and there was another one that was 15. And I just added all of these numbers up to get an average of what this is. That number is 59 inches and 3 quarters. These are all inches. Okay, I'm going to take 59 and 3 quarters and divide by 4 because I had 4 logs and that is 14 and 15 sixteenths. Now I'm going to round that off to 15 inches. Okay, we've got that part taken care of. Now let's take this 15 inches and I'm going to add that one inch for the chinking gap. That gives me 16 inches. Now we want to kind of keep up with this inch here because we're going to do something with them. All right, we have the 16 inches, the 15 inches for the average of all four logs, plus an inch for a chinking gap, and that's 16 inches. We're going to take that 16 inches, we're going to divide that by 2, which is 8 inches. All right, we've got this 8 inches. Now we're going to subtract this inch. Now this may sound a little bit confusing, but we're going to take this inch and we're going to stick it in our pocket 
because we're going to need it here in just a little bit. We're going to take this inch back off of the 8 inches of the division of 2 inch into 16. That leaves us 7 inches. Okay, we have the 7 inches. We're going to take 7 inches and divide that by 2. And that is 3 and a half inches. Okay, 3 and a half inches is our lower number that we would come down from the center line and get our mark and use our template. Now hang with me. Remember the inch that we took off right here that we put in our pocket? All right, we're going to dig down in there and get that back out. We're going to take this three and a half inches that we're using for the lower number and we're going to add that inch back to it. That gives us four and a half inches for the upper portion of the notch measuring away from the center line. If this seems a little bit confusing to you, don't worry about it. I've made a couple charts that you can find in the description below and it will work out all the dimensions uh, of your notches from uh, uh, 10 inches up through 18 inches and in half inch increments and you can find them in the, the description below. It'll be two PDF files that you can download for free. It won't cost you anything and hopefully this will make it helpful for you. I'll stick the tip of my bar right here and bury it just a little bit and I'll ease right along that line. And I'll stay away from that line a little bit, a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch. And I'll have my saw tilted at an angle of that line that's on the end of the log. And I'm just going to cut down halfway through it and I'll pull my saw out. Then I'll cut this shoulder and I'll leave about an eighth inch there. And I'll make this cut to the lower notch and I will just hold my saw vertically and it will just go straight down about halfway a little bit. And then I'll come back and cut this shoulder and then the log will be rolled over and I'll cut from the outside down. All right, I've done everything that can be done to this log on the inside face and I have turned it over and I have the outside of the log facing up on the saw horses. And at this point, I don't have to worry about putting a level on anything that's already been taken care of from the layout on the inside face, but I'm getting ready to snap a center line on the outside just like I did on the inside. When I'm snapping a center line on the outside, well even the inside or whatever, uh, I like to take my utility knife and put it right in the center of that plumb line that we made with the level from the inside face when we had the log leveled up. And I just like to make a little cut there and that gives me something to exactly center that chalk line on there now pull it pretty tight and just set it down that little cut just reach back here and snap a line this is the butt end of the log and i'm always like to pull my layout from the butt it's just the way i like to do things but you always want to pull your layout from the same end of the log every time now i have my white line here and set my, my square back up there and making my mark at eight inches. This will be the, the shoulder on the outside of the log. And as I've already showed you, about flipping the square and lining the inside of the long leg up on your, your center line, bring it right up to your shoulder, right here, making the half of the mark. Come around here and do the same thing. After you do this a few times, it'll become habit to you. As far as turning the, the square crossways. I left the rough sawed texture on the outside of this log. At the other end, I went ahead and planed it. And that, I'm gonna video the other end where you can actually see what I'm doing a little bit easier 
and maybe on this rough sawed texture. I just like a good clean surface for that. This will all be hewn off, this, this circle saw marks that's left from the sawmill, I'll hew all that off. But I'm going to go to the other end, square back up there, lay my tape here, see if I'm lined up with the eight on the, the square, or whatever number you choose, just sure that it makes sure it's just lined up. And I'm going to go to the other end and mark the, the shoulder at the other end. I'm marking the shoulder on the outside. I'll draw a little circle around that where you can see it maybe. And I've planed this area so we can see it a little bit better. This is the angle, the one and three angle that comes out right here on the outside. And I'll measure from the center line to this mark that we drew on the end of the log with the template and I'll put that same mark right back here. I like to use a, a steel ruler for doing things like this. And I'm seeing about 2 and 7 16 so I'm going to come back here and make my 2 and 7 16 and I can take my square and I can lay it up there get it on my mark back here and I'm sighting on the bottom side of this little tiny corner of the square and I'm lining that right up with my mark that was transferred from the inside with the template and on my mark back here that I just made now this will be the line that I work to with the upper part on the outside now we were using three and a half for our lower notch number. So I'll do that same thing on the outside with the three and a half inches from the center line. I'm gonna set my little steel ruler up there and come down three and a half inches. And I like to make my mark on the back side of the shoulder because if I put it on, th on this side, it makes it a little more difficult to see when I put the template on there. Using the same template, lay my square right up here on the center line. Then I can just hold that square where it's not going to move and just slide this template right up to the mark that we made there. Slide it right up there to that and just check to make sure that I'm still on the center line with my square, which I'm not. I bumped it. And slide right up to that. Now this notch is laid out now and ready to cut on the outside. I went ahead and laid out the whole entire notch out before I, I cut it just to show you. I normally would cut this part of it on the inside and this part of it on the inside and cut the shoulder before I flipped it because everything you can do to a log while it is in the position that it's in will just make it that much easier and faster and you're not having to go to the trouble of to keep rolling your log over.